Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kia. I'm a second year, second grade teacher here in Las Vegas. And welcome to the real like first vlog of the school year. So I have been in school for about four weeks, but um, the week has just, the year has been kind of been crazy so far. And um, I had a lot of big life changes happening. So I wasn't really able to vlog, but I'm back and I'm hoping to be more consistent. Um, so welcome back life updates so i got engaged a couple weeks ago to my girlfriend q i'm so happy and just over the moon uh you can go ahead and go watch that check that out if you haven't seen that if you're interested i know it's not teacher content but it's a very important life milestone in my life and i wanted to share it with you guys and q vlogged it which is very sweet so go ahead and check that out so i am back at school today today is labor day happy monday um we have the day off today but i am here on like the weekend trying to get ahead of the week i didn't have time to like tidy up and get my room together and prepared for the week i left my room in such disarray it was it's horrible so today i need to make a to-do list and knock out some things before the students come back on tuesday so this is the state of my desk yikes just a hot mess <laughs> Okay, so here's my to-do list. Don't mind my handwriting. <laughs> um, I need to make name tags. I already printed them. They just need to be copied in. They just need to be laminated and put on the desks. I need to rearrange the desks. We've been in school for about, I don't know, four weeks now. So it's time to get some final seating charting going. Um, make copies, organize my dates for the copies, start our anchor chart for writing, um, print and laminate um, textual feature charts. So we're working on textual fe textual features in English language arts this week. So I need to make sure that I have those anchor charts around the room for them to look at. I need to tidy our room up because it's a little bit messy. And I, need, I get to do one fun project. So it is not ideal for me to be here on the weekends, but sometimes that's just how it pans out. And Friday afternoon, I was ready to go. So I was like, no. I'll just come in on Monday and get it done. So it's not like an everyday for me thing for me. I really try not to be here on the weekends, but if I have to, I have to. And I'm very grateful that my school lets us come in on the weekends to like catch up and get things done. So I'm okay with it. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is probably make my copies because that's like top priority. Um, I need to make sure that all of my curriculum and days are put together and that I'm super prepared in that aspect for the kids. Um, so let me go ahead and make those copies. Okay, so I'm finally back from making all my copies. My coworker brought her dog in with her to uh, uh, help her out. Here's Weedy. Say hi, Weedy. <laughs> oh, baby girl. You didn't hit the camera. Oh my goodness. Oh. So while she's out of her room making copies, I'm like puppy sitting. Winnie is adorable. She's a star of this so She's so great. She's so cute. Um, Guys, I'm trying to convince Q to let me get a dog too, so this is probably good practice. If you've watched some of my summer vlogs, I um, made my um, rainbow cart. I labeled them with my Cricut like a while, a year ago. Um, and so I need to put all my copies where they need to go. So I'm gonna put them in here. And then also I got these bins from Dollar Tree. Um, this is my turning bin, this is my word work bin, this is my math center's bin. So the kids know that when it's that time of the day, um, if they're working on their word work packets, they need to come here. If they're working on math centers, it needs to come here. So, Winnie, Winnie girl, you're worse than the kids. Here is what my name tags are gonna look like. I got these off of TPT too. I like them because it has the number line and the alphabet on top. And sometimes I forget, our friends forget which way to write their letters in second grade still. So here are some things we're working on. I like them, they're so cute, very boho, very cute. done with organizing my papers um those anchor chart papers are laminating as we speak so now i have to rearrange the desks and do the nameplates that i just showed you guys 
so let's do this i already have like the organization the desk how i want them to be organized i already have that figured out i just need to put the name tags on move the desks and put the tape down so that their desk can stay because my class has such a hard time like leaving their desks where they're supposed to be i don't know by the end of the day like they're like spread across the room just hot mess so we're gonna stop that by putting tape down and do these name tags and then i'm gonna be try to go because i'm ready to go Good morning, happy Wednesday. Uh, yesterday we had school, but I left my camera at home so I can vlog. So happy Wednesday. So for my outfit for today, I'm just wearing this shift dress that I got from, um, I thrifted it and when I was in Illinois. So I don't know where it's from, but it's thrifted. So these really cool, cute platform um, sandals are from Shein. Um, yeah, so this is my outfit for today. So this morning I am doing some prepping for the day. We're working on personal narrative writing. I don't know if you guys know Lucy Calkin, her writing curriculum. Um, we just started doing it and it is phenomenal. Um, yesterday we started working on um, personal narrative in small moments. I have to finish my writer's plan anchor chart because we went over it but I want to add like little details to it so I can hang it up around the room. They were more excited than I thought they would be. Um, so yesterday we planned out our small moment writing and I'm gonna show you the worksheet that I use. So this is our anchor chart. I just want to add some more little details to make it cute. Um, and then I had them think of a small moment story and we're really working on like beginning, middle, end. So like I use this to kind of organize their thoughts. What happened in the beginning, what happened in the middle, what happened in the end. So yes, so yesterday we drafted out our writing and today we're going to start writing. So we drew pictures yesterday and today we're going to start adding details and words and all that kind of stuff. So it's going to be so much fun. I'm excited for that. We're also working on text features today. I actually need to prep my bulletin board this morning. We already went over like table of contents and a couple of other things yesterday. I have this textual features journal that we are using. This is what it looks like. So they write the definition and then they give an example. I feel slightly bad that I wasn't done with my bulletin boards that I haven't, it took me a while to get all this stuff up, but I really wanted to make my bulletin boards intentional and I just didn't want to put like anything up that we aren't using. So I feel like the stuff that I have up now, like it's current, it's what we're doing right now. And then when that time comes, I'll switch it off because sometimes I see people like put like all types of stuff on their bulletin boards and it doesn't really make sense. Cause like you did that like four weeks ago, like your kids aren't even referencing that anymore. So. I just want them to stay current so that's why it took a long time for me to even it took like four weeks for me to pick what i wanted and to put it up so that is what we were doing in ela today but i also wanted to share what we're doing in science because i'm very excited um i just have such a great team this year and they have such great resources and so one of my coworkers has this really great steam like curriculum and we are working on hurricanes this week hurricanes and tornadoes and so it comes with like these journals so it comes with information on how you can pre prepare for a hurricane, what is a hurricane, and then there's also a project to design a house that would withstand, like, or a house or a structure that would withstand a hurricane. So, and then at the end of the week, they're going to design the structure, and then I'm going to try to knock it down with wind and water. I'm just going to use my little fan and, like, a little spout of water <laughs> um so that should be fun i already got the materials you just need like popsicle sticks play-doh some masking tape um and like a pan so that when you pour the water it doesn't get all over the place the kids are so excited we started yesterday we learned about hurricanes and we did a little bit of mapping i think today i'm gonna have them do some more sketching and then i'm gonna have them look at the materials and really think and plan what they're gonna do and then tomorrow they'll build it and then on friday we'll try to see if their structure can withstand a hurricane so that's gonna be really fun i'm really excited for today this week should be really exciting um i have to get ready for the students so let me go ahead and finish that up okay 
So I am done for the day and after school. I want to be out of here in 30 minutes. So first of all, we need to learn how to, how to work as a group because so many friends just started making their own little house and it's supposed to be like a group project so we're supposed to work together in their little pods of four. So tomorrow we're talking about how to work in teams, how to take turns and how to build together. I had some groups who like did it pretty well, but I had other groups who were like just doing like their own thing and I didn't, I don't know, I didn't really account for that. So tomorrow we'll be talking about it. So we started it. Let me show you guys what some of their little hurricane houses structures are looking like so far. So this is one of them and it's turning out pretty good. So before I go home, I need to put those away and I need to also, yeah, before I go home, I need to put those away, put them up somewhere so they don't break. I don't want them sitting at their desks. Um, and then we'll probably finish them tomorrow. And then on Friday, we'll blow them down blow them down um also we are still working on text features i have to put the new words that we learned up up on our anchor wall so that the kids can go and reference to that um for textual features and we are doing a textual feature scavenger hunt that i'll probably show you tomorrow morning um but i need to pick out some books for our textual feature scavenger hunt so i have to do that before i go also, I told you guys we're starting our narrative writing um, unit in Lucy Calkins. Yeah, so we're working on how to write independently. Um, like we're literally starting the basic foundations of writing. So in narrative writing, they are writing a small moment story from beginning, middle and end. And I need to work on having them be independent with figuring out how to spell words. I was debating on putting up a word wall. I really don't have a whole lot of wall space for it. I still might, but I just don't have the time to sit there and set it up and do it. So I was thinking of doing some like writing um word journals so that they can have something at their desk that's like they can reference um and we're also doing an anchor chart on how to sound out words and spell them out um using lucy calkins anchor charts thing so that's gonna be awesome let me go ahead and get all this stuff ready so i can go tonight yeah so i can go Good morning happy friday so we got some exciting things going on this friday first i got starbucks i got the pumpkin spice cold brew it's really good it's like halfway gone i literally chugged it in the car also let's do outfit of the day today here is my dress for today it is from shein it's just a cute little dress and then also my cute little um low heels are also from shein so it's my outfit for today We've got our textual feature and parts of speech board done, which is good. I'm glad that that's up. Um, I've been adding to it throughout the week, so it looks great. I'm excited to have that be like a focal point for the next week because next week we're doing textual features too. Also, today we're doing something exciting. So we are doing Writer's Cafe. Now, Writer's Cafe is basically when um, the students have been working on their writing all week. We've been working on personal narratives, small moments. Um, I talked to you guys earlier about Lucy Cock and her um, curriculum that we've been using. And so I had, I had these microphones donated to me and i thought this would be the perfect way to like read our small moment stories aloud so i picked a few friends they either i picked them or they volunteered to read their small moment story and they get to use these microphones which i think is just so cool i'm so excited for it i hyped it up yesterday and they're really excited for it i hyped up our small moments um writer's cafe over the week so there should be they're really excited for it and i'm really excited for it so how they do with the microphones and everything it's a really great incentive so yeah that is my day today we're also finishing the hurricane projects today hopefully i can get some footage of that um i have one student out today and their parents asked if um we could if i could send them video of their um house and so I'll be sending them that video um, and hopefully I'll get some for you guys too. I'm just excited. I'm having a really good week. Um, this afternoon, I am doing some planning and I figured I would take you guys along with me um, because most of the time I do all my planning and like pre-printing um, on Fridays. And if not, if I don't get it on a Friday, I have to come in on the weekend to get all my printing done because just during the week is not easy. So I'll show you guys how I'm planning for next week and how I make my copies and get them organized and everything. Um, you guys saw me do that on Labor Day. Hopefully this week I don't have to come in on the weekend. So yeah. 
we are done for the day i am so happy to be done today was a rough one i mean not even just today just this afternoon was just a lot like we just had a lot of just loud friends with a whole lot of energy because it was friday but our hurricane projects turned out awesomely i literally set up my phone to record us doing it and i thought i recorded because i had one student out and i told his mom that i would send him video of it but i did not <laughs> i would did not press record so there is no footage of it so i'm gonna have to go tell that parent that i accidentally didn't get it but yeah it went really well um the kids their structures actually stayed up for a decent amount of time so that was pretty fun um and then we like they really enjoyed just seeing who's was gonna fall down and who's gonna stay up so i used my little fan that i have and just some water and that was our hurricane um so yeah that was a lot of fun and what else also, our writer's workshop went really well. The students loved using the microphones. Um, they loved being able to pick which one they wanted to use. And they loved coming up here and standing up and reading their stories about. And their stories were actually kind of impressive. Um, they were short stories or small moments. But um, they really liked to do it. And so hopefully that is something that we can do every Friday. Um, we didn't get to everyone so i told them that we would pick it up again next friday so that can be our friday thing is um writer's cafe i also played like some cafe music in the background they loved it so yeah my friday was long and happy that it's over now i have to prep for monday i have to go make all my copies get them organized basically what i did on monday i have to do today so that over the weekend i can just enjoy my weekend and not come to school pretty much so i'm gonna get that started I was gonna show you how I plan for um, the week, but it is raining and it rarely rains here in Nevada. And I wanna go home. I learned that I need to definitely take this rain as like a win. Um, I've never missed rain so much in my entire life. So I will pack up, I've made all my copies. <laughs> 